Let's work on the concept of interaction effect of dummy variables in this video and we're gonna do so with this simple regression where we only have two categorical variables. For the sake of, of explaining this topic let's use just two categorical levels for the education where we have again a master and a bachelor. If we have a master degree we take the value of one, if we have a bachelor degree we take the value of zero. Now with this in mind let's actually regress what would be the wage for a master student for a master graduate and a bachelor graduate if we predict the wage given that we have a master we would have a constant plus 0 0.81 times the effect of iq plus 0 0.73 times the education level so times one assuming that we're a master student plus 0 0.33 multiplied with the level of iq times the level of education again is going to be one for a master student now if we if we work it out a bit better, a wage, a predicted wage for a master graduate would be this constant plus 0 0.81 times the IQ plus 0 0.73, because times one doesn't change anything, plus 0 0.33 times the IQ, because times one also is not gonna change anything. Now let's have a look what's gonna be a common factor here, because we can see the term of IQ in this, uh, in this term, and the IQ in the other term. So we could write this, we could write the wage that we predict for a master student as the constant plus, let's take IQ as a common factor, in brackets we'll have 0 0.81, sorry, uh, 0 0.81 plus 0 0.33 plus 0 0.73. That's gonna be the regression line for a master student. Now let's do the same for a bachelor student and that's gonna be much shorter because most values are gonna be zero there since the education level is gonna uh, be zero. So the predicted wage for a bachelor student is gonna be the constant plus 0 0.81 times the IQ, just following from here, plus 0 0.73 times the education level, which would be zero for a bachelor, plus 0 0.33 times the IQ times the education level, which would be again zero. So let me just substitute education level with zero for a bachelor student. And we can see that the zero is gonna make this term completely zero. So this is gonna have no effect, meaning that the wage that we predict for a bachelor student is gonna be the constant plus 0 0.81 times the IQ. Now, have a look over here. What's the difference between the regression for a master student and a bachelor student? Well, we can see that a master student would have this 0 0.73 term additional to the effect of IQ. And what is this 0 0.73 term? Well, that just shows us that for a given level of IQ, the average wage for a master student is gonna be by 0 0.73 times $1,000 per year more than not having a master degree. So relative to being a bachelor only. And that's the partial effect from the regression. We can see it over there. This is the partial effect of having a master degree. Now let's understand what it means to have this interaction effect, interaction between IQ and education level. So if we have a look now, if we have a look now at the regression line for the master student and the bachelor student, the master student has this effect of IQ, 0 0.81 plus 0 0.33. The effect of IQ for a bachelor student is just 0 0.81 times, uh, yeah, just 0 0.81. That's the effect of IQ for a bachelor student. What do we notice? We notice this additional effect of 0 0.33 for a master student, meaning the effect of IQ for a master student is gonna be higher by 0 0.33 than that of a bachelor student. So the fact that he has a master degree is gonna boost up the effect of IQ on his wage. And the practical intuition for this would be that because he has a higher IQ, he has a higher capacity to work on his skills and so on, the fact that he goes into higher education opens up him more opportunities. It opens up him probably more relationships or more projects to do. And therefore the effect that he's having from his IQ is increased by the fact that he's able to stimulate or to reveal his skills, his IQ, in the master uh, graduate program and that's why it's going to be a higher effect on the wage hope this makes sense let me just write this as a brief summary because that was actually a good explanation but i didn't write it right away so i, I didn't want to interrupt um so what did we say we said that the effect of iq effect of iq 
effect of IQ is by 0 0.33, 0 0.33 higher for a master student on average for a master on average compared to bachelor compared to bachelor and that's what interaction means it means that although although we have the effect of IQ in both cases having a higher education still is gonna stimulate those innate capacities those talents that the student has and therefore it gives him more chance in the labor market to, to, to get higher wages. And this was just the math to really prove that when we solve the math for the regression where we are taking, for instance, the value of one, the dummy that takes the value of one, in our case, the master, we can see that we have at the end two coefficients for this IQ variable, whereas where we take it for the bachelor, we only have the partial effect remaining. So the interaction effect is showing us this additional effect, additional um, value of having a master for that given level of IQ. Hope this makes sense and we are done.